Yeah, hi guys, Peter back for yet another video. This video is for um Steve. Hi Steve out there, who requested a classic album war between two Rolling Stones albums, and here they are, 1968's Beggar's Banquet. There you go. And I think the original cover had the white uh, written Beggar's Banquet, had the Rolling Stones Beggar's Banquet, no plain white sleeve, if I remember rightly. And the other one is 1971's the Rolling Stones, Sticky Fingers. Both classic albums. I'll just talk a bit about one and uh, I'll talk a bit about both and then we'll go through it. There's the back, there's the tracks up there. So we got um, Sympathy for the Devil here. No Expectations, Dear Doctor, Parachute Woman, Jigsaw Puzzle, Street Fighter Man, Prodigal Son, Stray Cat Blues, Factory Girl and Salt of the Earth. Okay, Brian Jones was still in the band at this time, uh, but he was uh, in the midst of his um, uh, drug problems at the time. And uh, they also had, um, of course, Jagger Richards, Bill Wyman and Charlie Watts. And then um, the other album, uh, Sticky Fingers, was when uh, Mick Taylor was in the band. So we got Brown Sugar Sway, Wild Horses, Can't You Hear Me Knocking. Here we go again. You Gotta Move, Bitch, I Got The Blue System, Morphine, Dead Flowers, and Moonlight Mile. Well, here we go. Let's talk a bit about Beggar's Banquet, Sympathy for the Devil. Um, an iconic track, very um, percussive in the start of the track. Lyrically, it's excellent. Um, Always liked the song. Um, uh, always liked the song, but never been my favourite Rolling Stones. Song, but I do like it. Um, I think that the live version they do is very good when I've seen them live. So a song for me that I really like, but it's never been as as you could say high up on my list. But I do like the song. So that that's a, it's a good, but it is an um, an iconic track, one of their most iconic tracks, which I do like. No Expectations is like a so, slow blues tune with, uh, uh, um, with um, a good vocal from Jagger on this one. I think he sings this particularly well. And I really like No Expectations, always have. Very good track. Dear Doctor is a bit on the humorous side. Um, I don't mind it. I think it's a pretty, pretty good song. Um, yeah. And it's rather short, right? It, as Parachute Woman, another catchy sort of um, uh, rhythmic sort of track. Very good song. Uh, Jigsaw Puzzle's very long, uh, uh, quite on the line. Six minutes plus, I think it is. Uh, and uh, as I said, another very good song without being, getting there for me, without getting to that, that that thing where you think it's oh it's a stone cold classic song I like but you know it's it's um doesn't quite get there uh, for me okay Street Fighter Man well that's a classic track love that one the iconic um riff and uh, a very catchy track very uh, big hit for them too and uh, do it another but one I like is Prodigal Son um just just something about it. Bit different sounding. I like I like I like the way he does his vocal on this. Um, Jagger. Um, it's rather catchy little track that one. Yeah, a good one. Then we get the bluesy style stray cat stray cat blues. Um, everyone knows the um, the what do you call it the um, what it's about and so on and. Um, yeah, pretty good song. I like that one a lot. Love that. Factory Girl's a little um, acoustic thing, but pretty nice. Pretty nice one. But my favourite song on the album is the last one, Soul of the Earth. This is a classic. Love this one. It always has been my favourite song on the album. And Keith sings on this as well. They both sing, Mick and Keith. But again, 
uh, a great song to finish the album. So for me, um, an excellent Stones album. Without not never been my favourite album by them, but I like it. Then um, this album here, Sticky Fingers. Brown Sugar, a great uh, classic track. The iconic, um, the iconic um, guitar part which opens the, the, the song. Um, really good song. Really good song. Big hit at the time, of course. And um, love that one. But the next song is, for me, one of their greatest songs, Sway. Love this. Um, uh, the guitar work, uh, I believe Mick Taylor does it. Is uh, wonderful, and it's just got a big. It's just uh, it's got an impact to it. It's just done. Um, the drums are great. I love the drum sound in it, and it's it's just one of those songs that I I took to immediately uh, from this album, and one of my favourite Stone songs have to be my top ten Stone songs. That one, Sway. I love Sway. Always have. That's a great great song. Wild Horses, same thing. Beautiful, uh, beautiful track. Well done, vocal by Mick. Beautiful um, acoustic uh, song, and uh, and yeah, one of the classic songs by them. Can't you hear me knocking? I love the um, the instrumentation in it, uh, uh, where they stretch it out a bit, and a very good song. Again, not weak at all. Pretty great track. You got to move, or well, this is the one I'm not big on. Um, it's just like a like like a blues Jagger singing like a blue short blues song, and it just it just doesn't go anywhere for me. That one, you got to move. Um, yeah, and it brings the it's it's a fantastic album. So I've just said the first four songs, but then that brings it slightly down a bit for me. There, you got to move, but. Um, yeah. Then we got Bitch, a great rocker, very catchy track, great uh, great playing, great uh, good vocal, just uh, Mickey ripping it out there, just full uh, on full um, full tilt on that one, a great song. And I particularly like the next one, I Got the Blues. I think he does a great job on the on the vocal there. Uh, I got, um, that's a really nice song. There's something about the... The sound of it, I like it. Yeah. Very nice song. Sister for Morphine, obviously about drugs. Lyrics are great, makes a good impact. Really like it. Um, not my favourite song on the armor, but um, pretty good song, pretty good song. Dead Flowers, love Dead Flowers. It's got a country, country, country feel to it. Um... Country feel, a bit of a sing-along type um, uh, feel to it as well. That's what I like. It's nice and catchy, very good. And ends with Moonlight Mile, which could be nearly the greatest Rolling Stones. It's all that's up there. I don't know if it's the best, but a wonderful track, ballady type song. Uh, you get a bit of the um, orchestration in the end of the song. And um, love that one. Love Moonlight Mile. It's one of their best songs for sure. So as you can see, um, this wasn't too hard a decision for me because I'm going to go for Sticky Fingers as the winner. I just feel it's um, more enjoyable for me for this, if I if um, I, from from um, top to bottom, it's more enjoyable. Both have got ten songs. I like a few. I like a few songs off Beggar's Banquet, but um, it's never been a top five album for me. It's been like between, I don't know, between six or seven in in my list. But Sticky Fingers has always been a top two or three album for me. So I much prefer Sticky Fingers to Beggar's Banquet. You know, it's probably um, a very easy decision, but I like quite a few songs on Beggar's Banquet actually. But um, the winner for me is Sticky Fingers. There's too many classic songs on it for me. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review, uh, this classic Elmore, but I'm going for Beggar's Banquet. Comment down below. 
I love seeing the comments and my voice is clearing up a bit, talking a bit better. So, and thanks for your good wishes out there and see you soon, guys. Bye.